hello and welcome to this tutorial today we are going to see how to validate forms in angular uh, in ionic i'm sorry by uh, using uh, angular reactive forms so i have already created a, a new project and i have also started the project as you can see here so let's get start started mm. the first thing we need to do is to go in the app module and import uh, form modules and reactive forms module go to the import right here add forms module sorry the forms module and reactive forms module let's save it uh, now open the home page go to the home module.ts we already have form module here so we're just going to add reactive form module same thing we import right here reactive form module let's save it now um, we're just going to i'm just going to go and start in the home page uh, html in the html file so we're just going to create a small form We're not, we're not going to worry about the action for now. Uh, let's build the form group. I'm going to name it login. Name. Input. We're not going to worry about the type here let's add from control now from control name and we're going to name it name mm. let's save this for now and in the home right here in the home page dot ts we need to import from group and from control And since in in our HTML page, the form control uh, the form group is login, and the form control is name. In our page.ts file, we'll we'll do this login equal to new form group form group, and in the form group. We have a new form control. Okay. So in the form control, we are going to add some. For now, we're going to add one validator, which is require. Uh, 
I'm going to explain that in a second. Mm. Required. Let's save this for now. For example, like uh, this this field cannot be empty, something like that. So uh, this is what we're going to do, and we have already told the controller that we, this field is required. So in the home page now. Let's add a div. Uh, in that div, I will just add a ng container and I will say ng if if login, which is the form group. Uh, that from controller name right here I actually get yeah get then oops yeah get name get name as error required so meaning if there is nothing in the field then if the user uh, doesn't write uh, uh, anything in the field then give give us or, or give him this message like this error uh, field cannot be empty mm. let's just try this first automatically we are getting this uh, yeah because the field is empty as soon as I and that's what you see we don't get that message anymore but we, we don't want to get this mess message automatically as long as we didn't enter the field uh, we can handle that adding this and and Touch. I just put everything at the same time. Touch. Touch. Or dirty. Yes. It's going to take a second. And now we don't have any uh, error message. Uh, we start getting um, error message when we exit the field. Oh, see, we don't only want to get one error message, we actually want to get multiple uh, error message, possibly like let's say maximum length, like let's say we only want five characters at six characters. Tell, tell the user, hey, no, no, you are not allowed to enter more than five characters, for example. So, how to do that? First of all, let's come here and add an order, another validator which is max length, let's say 5, 
so if you have multiple validators you need to put them in the array so we create an array let's say errors equal to like this by oops, required message message field cannot be empty I'm just, I'm just going to copy this and modify max length and fill cannot have more than five characters okay so from here we can now go in the HTML, uh, html file and add a ng4 so let r of errors as error now since we have multiple er errors now we put error dot type so if we have let's say if we have the type required like here if we have the type required then display this message otherwise display the other message okay this is what we're going to do here right here then we we'll say um, error dot message let's save it now For now, we only have if it cannot be empty a message. Now it's good. Now we have if it cannot have more than five characters message. If we have less, it disappear. If we have more, now we still get that message. If we have nothing get this message back see so that was it guys if you like the video uh please uh subscribe leave a thumbs up and you can share with your friends as well uh oh, one interesting thing that you you need to know about formed by validator is the use of uh I'm not gonna do it here, but you could use also a pattern validator uh, that can be like this validators dot pattern. So this is really useful, especially when you are trying to use uh, regular expressions. Or string pattern and things like that so it's almost the same uh, principle like the one we've used here I'm not going to cover this in this tutorial because I'm trying to make the tutorial really as uh, narrow as possible but if you really want me to cover it uh, leave a comment then that will be for another tutorial you have a good one bye